Hi, welcome to FaroArm and Autodesk Power Inspect tutorial series. In today's video, we will learn about LaserLine Probe. FaroArm is fitted with LLP and 3D laser scanning activities can be performed. The applications of LaserLine Probes are in the areas of metrology and reverse engineering. The scanner allows us to create 3D digital replicas of the objects that are being scanned. This data can be used to create CAD models which can be used for manufacturing the components. This is called reverse engineering. For inspecting a component for correct dimensions, the point cloud data obtained by scanning can be compared with the existing CAD model of the component and deviations can be measured. In the coming videos, we are going to see all these procedures in detail. Let us see what is inside the scanner box. So when you open the box, you can see a calibration plate, which will help us in calibrating the scanner and also the probe, of course. Next, we have the LLP, laser line probe or the scanner. Then we have a small dusting cloth kind of thing. Let us first see how a blue light scanner works. The Faro laser line probe is a non-contact probe that collects digitized points using a line of projected laser light and a camera. The laser light is projected onto your part as a line. The camera takes a picture of the shape and position of the line and several points are then sent to the computer. This is done many times in a second to quickly measure curved surfaces or surfaces that cannot be measured using a standard ball probe. We should avoid direct exposure to our eyes at all times. Let's see how LLP is fitted to Faro arm. After unscrewing the screw and removing the cap, fix the LLP this way and turn the screw again until it slips. Activate the LLP by visiting Faro Arm Manager and clicking on Laser Line Probe. For calibration, click on Plane Compensation. The 6mm probe has to be fitted to first measure the plane. Probe the plane according to the instructions on the screen. After success is achieved, click on Start Compensation. We have to take a series of five strokes covering four positions of the compensation plate while moving the LLP far from and near to the plate. Watch for the indicators on the right side of the compensation panel. We have to keep all the indicators in the green color range as much as we can. The circular radar indicator assesses the orientation and angle of the LLP to the plate. Try to keep the angle at about 45 degrees. Green means the LLP is correctly angled and oriented. Other colors mean that we must correct the angle or orientation of the LLP. The probe twist indicator assesses if the LLP handle is twisting as we make our stroke. Green means it is not twisting. The trapezoid indicator assesses the coverage and completeness of the stroke. As long as the radar and the probe twist indicators are green, we can completely fill the trapezoid with green bars. Let's continue with compensation and see how the strokes are being taken. We have achieved success. If failure message is shown, we have to repeat the same steps again. In the coming up videos, 
we are going to learn how to do reverse engineering and inspection using ferro arm and power inspect 